A viewer asked me in a comment on a previous video about the 16K RAM. What would happen if you, well, just as a little backstory, when you first turn on the ZX81 or the Timex from Care 1000, it does a RAM check to see how much RAM you have in it. So it can set the stuff up whether you have only 1K, 8K, or 16K. It doesn't check any further. 16K is the highest it will check. So if you have more than 16K RAM on your system, you actually have to poke that value into memory, then do a new, and then basically will correct itself and set itself up. He asked, what happens if you tell it you have more memory than you actually have? What happens? Will the system crash? So let's give that a shot. First off, let's see what we got here. On this one, we actually obviously have 16K, but let's just see what the values are. So I'm going to use the old peak to get my RAM top, which is 32768. And just so we can see what is the actual value of that one location that we changed, 16389, we see that 16K is 128. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify that and tell this thing that I have 32K RAM in here. But I don't. But I'm going to tell it what I do. So I'm going to do poke. 16389,192. I'm now telling it that I have 32K RAM in here. That my last memory location is uh, 16K and 32K, 48K. So I poked it in there. It had no problem with that. Now I'm going to do a new. And now what new will do is it will check and move the display file and all the system variables around to accommodate the new memory. Let's find out. I do a new, and it comes back. So it seems to be okay with the fact that I told it that it has non-existent RAM. Where is it? What's that value again? One six three eight nine. It resets itself back down to one twenty-eight. It doesn't let you poke in a value you don't have. Now I can make that smaller. If I do a poke, one six three eight nine. I'm going to do half the size. So I'm going to do 64 in there, and I do a new, no problem so far. Let's just see what our value is now. How much memory does this thing think that we have? It reset itself back up again. So it will let me poke it lower for some reason. I must have did something wrong there. That's interesting. But it is nice to know that it does correct itself. And just so that we can just for, just for, just to make sure that you don't think, well, maybe it just does that automatically. I'm going to do the piggyback here again, and hopefully I don't get the RAM pack wobble and the issue I had before that I had with the other system, or the other video that I made. Put this thing in correctly. I'm going to be fixing that later. So I guess I'm not plugging it in correctly, am I? I'll try it again. Come on now. It just is not happy there, okay. <laughs> Again, the issue I have is that connector is broken, so I've had to fix it. And my fix is not that great. But it, okay, that kind of got it. Now, Again, I have 16K in here. If I do the print, oh, one of my little rubber feet moved. Oh. Peak, one, six, three, eight, nine. Should be 32,000. Correct, all right. Now I'm gonna poke 
one six three eight nine comma one ninety two do a new it's initializing memory now I'm going to do a peak one six three eight eight Forty nine one fifty two. So it is as initialized as keeping that thirty two K RAM in there. So it does check to see that what you the value you gave it is actually a valid value. Pretty good thinking there. I guess they didn't want people to say, Oh, I got a one K ZX eighty one, I'm gonna tell it I got sixty four K and it will work. No. Have a good one.